I'm Jeffrey. I'm on, the, I'm on the corner of Florida Harwood in downtown Dallas Art District. Right behind me, you see me. This is National Cultural Center. And that, and that is Jawoon Plenza's The Long Night. Over in Dallas, Plenza is no stranger to the rest of the United States. He has famous works of art done in Washington, D.C., New York City, Virginia, and even Florida. Plenza is pretty famous in the United States. However, in the rest of the world, I'm not really sure about all that. He's international. Like in Canada? Canada doesn't count. Well, how about Japan, Italy, France, Sweden, Germany, London? Oh. <laughs> I guess. There you have it. He's international. You know, one thing I like about Clemson is, you know, you never find another sculpture like that in the world. It's so unique, so individual. I mean, you're just one of a kind, really. Stop. Good. There's one right there. One interesting fact about the Long Night Sculpture is that nighttime, it glows. The sculpture loops through an array of colors throughout the night, adding a touch of life to the figure. The Long Night itself is a sculpture in the round of a man sitting in closed form on top of a 40-foot pole. This sculpture was influenced by Catalan poet Vincent Andreas Esselis, who stated that it is the responsibility of the poet to remain awake, watching, while the rest of the community is asleep. Plenza's influences include William Shakespeare, William Blake, Emily Dickinson, Edgar Allan Poe, and Charles Baudelaire, in which he uses for continuous references in his work. <laughs> 